Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the view. Today we are going to learn about the slots. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. Slots are the placeholders inside a component where you can pass content from the parent component. Make sure slots are the placeholders inside a component where you can pass the content from the parent component. They allow you to create flexible, reusable components by providing a way to compose elements or content with them dynamically. Okay, like pop-up. When you we want to click on the close button, when you click on the button, open a pop-up and close the button. Such kind of functionality can be done via slots. Okay, so first we do the basic example. Then after that, we will go with the custom pop-up modal with the help of the slots. Okay. This is child component dot view. I think it's already there. Child component dot view is there. So let me comment this one. And I, I need to add the another one. So here we go with this one. Child component dot view. So here we go to copy this styling. Okay, this is child component dot view, right? Then we have the parent component. Then I will add this into the, our app. Okay, let's have a look. So here we have an app. So let's comment the previous one. What will happen? Okay, so let's make it like this and comment it. Let's paste this. Okay, done. So here we can see that we have a parent component. Okay, child component we have called. This is the con content placed inside the slot. So this is the content that is placed inside the slot. Okay, so here we have the co child component, right? Okay, so this is the simple one. Then the child component the, and the content placed inside the slot is this one. Because in the definition what we have read, I will explain you right now. Slots are the placeholder inside a component where you can pass the content from the parent. Okay, from the parent you are passing the content. From the parent you are passing the content. Content placed inside the slot. Okay, so this is the simple one. Right, let's go to the child component dot view. Okay, so here we have the template dev class child component. Okay, and then we have a child component. There, here you can slot. This is the additional content in the child. So, slot is over here. Okay, name, export default child component, style scoped. Okay, and that's it. Here we have mentioned. Let's go and check this one. So, here we go with this one. But they, they are can't resolve child component dot view. Child component dot view. Where it is? Where we are importing? Where is our parent? So it's not calling this. So let's copy this. Fix this one. Let's go and check. So we have a components, then we have a child component, right? Okay, done. Let's go. Here you can see. So you can see the data is coming from whatever the data that we have passed in the content, it come over here. Okay, this is that one. This is the child component is there, right? The pop-up model. When you click on something, this will open. Okay, so this is the click me. Okay, in the parent one, here we go with that one app dot view. So here you can see that we have a button and the text. So content placed inside the slot. So here we have that one. Okay, and in the child component here, you can see that there is there is a slot, right? And there is only additional text that is content in the child. Okay, so here we go with that one. This example, we will go into more elaboration with the pop up with cust like close button and everything. Okay, so this is the basic example of that slot. I hope you understand. 
any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day